Hello and welcome back for another GRT price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the GRT chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And by first giving you a recap of what has been happening here on the GRT chart, where on the 10th of June, we saw this massive crash in a breakdown move that gave us a low at around the 0.08885 dollar mark and after seeing that low we started this nice recovery to the upside where we have now picked in that first wave to the upper side seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave too in a move that has also fully maximized minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this retarget target area and after seeing the low for the second wave we have now started an impulsive wave in the formation of that wave three in a move that has also peaked in the formation of that wave 3, fully maximizing minimum target areas that I have been giving you in my previous videos by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618, and that is at around the 0.1407 dollar mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do. And since we have picked in the formation of that wave 3, I now believe that we have also seen a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 2, where yesterday I gave you minimum target areas by connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave to that high for the wave 3, giving me a minimum target area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is an area that we have now fully maximized and I believe there are high chances that GRT has now put in place the law for the fourth wave and is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave 5 to the upper side. And as long as we also continue holding above the wave 1 high for this ADOTF structure at around the 0.1164 dollar mark and also continue holding above support at around the 0.11 four five dollar mark there are high chances that we are finally going to see that a reversal to the upper side and continue gearing up and in case further breakdown continues maybe we lose our red target area and also lose support at around the 0 0.1145 dollar mark and continue seeing further breakdown then that would be suggesting an alternative scenario here on the charts where we can term this as a one two setup to the upper side and this is another one to set up before we can see a wave three in that one to set up to the upper side. So that is the alternative scenario that you can have in mind in case we continue seeing further breakdown. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 43 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting further breakdown. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you updated.